8 Things You Need to Know About Floating Solar We are in a fascinating world of renewable energy. And there's a twist. We're setting our sights on the water. And in this video, we're exploring floating solar. 8 Things You Need to Know So let's get ready to ride the waves of innovation. Floating solar It's not just a trend, it's a leap forward in harnessing the power of the sun. Traditional solar panels are brilliant, but what if I told you there's an ingenious way to generate clean energy without using precious land? That's where floating solar comes in. Imagine solar panels serenely resting on reservoirs, lakes, and even oceans. These floating photovoltaics, or FPV, systems are making waves by making the most of our expansive water surfaces. How does it all work? Let's break it down. Floating solar systems consist of several key components that work harmoniously to capture and convert sunlight into usable power. PV modules capture the sunlight, floaters provide support, anchors keep everything in place, and the power generated flows through the combined box, central inverter, and transformer before reaching the grid. Advantages of Floating Solar Now let's delve into the advantages of floating solar. First up, land preservation. Unlike traditional solar panels, these floating marvels don't gobble up our precious land. And the environmental benefits? Well, they're not just skin deep. Floating solar systems reduce water evaporation and help keep algae blooms at bay. Cleaner surroundings and less reliance on non-renewable fuels. It's a win-win. More efficient than their land-based counterparts. But are these floating panels more efficient than their land-based counterparts? That's the million-dollar question, and the answer lies in the water. Studies show that these panels, gently cooled by the water beneath them, can be up to 10% more efficient in hot climates. But don't dismiss land solar just yet. There's a balancing act of pros and cons. Why floating solar has its challenges? Now, like all innovations, floating solar has its challenges. Initial costs can be higher due to specialized equipment and knowledge, limiting its applicability to larger-scale projects. And we must consider its ecological impact. Reduced sunlight penetration and potential harm to aquatic life require us to tread carefully, particularly in natural water bodies. Analytics. But let's talk numbers. The cost of building a floating solar power plant isn't a straightforward figure. It depends on factors like project size, location, and even wind conditions. Aside from construction, maintenance is a factor. However, the water's natural cooling effect and occasional rain help keep maintenance relatively low. What is the future? What about the future? As renewable energy becomes more accessible, floating solar's entry barriers will shrink. Its long-term benefits, despite initial costs, can't be ignored. While it might not replace traditional utility generation, floating solar could be a powerful supplementary source, adding capacity where needed. And there you have it, folks, floating solar. Eight things you need to know. As we journey through the seas of progress, let's embrace innovations that light the path towards a greener future. If you found inspiration in the sun, the water, and the boundless possibilities of floating solar, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join us in our quest to ride the waves of change. Thank you for watching and remember, every ripple of knowledge counts. Text on screen. Subscribe for more renewable energy insights. Stay tuned for more exciting content on renewable energy, sustainability, and innovative technologies. Until next time, keep shining, keep floating, and keep making a difference.